All right, I'm getting ready to do some maintenance on this ROM board. And remember, I told you I would show you these connectors and how bad they really are. Let me get the light down on here a little bit. And let's zoom in. You see on the very end, that's how they're supposed to look, to be healthy. And look at most of them. That one's all pushed in. These ones are flat out jacked up. Those two are okay. That one is jacked up. Then you got two more okay, another bad one. That one's not too great looking. Those two don't look too good. Okay. Now if we come up to this one, those three in a row right there are really bad. See how pushed in they are? There's like no resistance. When that pin comes through there, you see where the pin comes through? They should be like this to where those pins really wipe those. Yeah, these are no good. Look at that one right there and then this one. There's no spring to them. Yeah, they're all pushed in. There's no springy, spring action to them to to uh, wipe the pin that comes through. So yeah, those have to be replaced. And while I am at it, I'm going to replace the ROM sockets as well. So this thing will be good to go. I'm still waiting on these parts to come in, but I got the gun out. I'm going to go ahead and remove everything. I can do the sockets, but uh, yeah, I have to wait for these. So I'm going to go ahead and wait for those. I'm going to remove these old ones, get it ready, and uh, all prepped and everything. And that way when they come here, I just got to pop them in there, solder them in, and be good to go. All right, yeah, these are really, really poor sockets right here. These little tension things in there. They're just really bad. So those are going to go. I got these out. I got all of those guys removed. Nice and cleanly. So we'll go ahead and remove these sockets. And we'll be about a thousand percent better with this board. Okay, so I got the four EEPROMs replaced with nice amp dual wipe sockets. Yeah, nice and clean. Now what I want to do is, you see how this side's nice and tinned on these? I want to tin this side. See where the tinnings come off? I'm going to retin this side of these so that the solder flows through really good. So I got the desoldering gun back out because I'm going to go through, tin this side of these pads, and then re-desolder it. Get a nice good tinning on both sides of this so that it solders really well when I put the new ones in. So I'll go ahead and do that. All right, now this board is ready for those connectors. I got it cleaned up and retinned a little bit. Other than get that off of there, whatever that is. A little crusty. There. Get that little crusty off of there. But these are all retinned nicely, nicely enough anyway. These ones all came out really good. Nice and tinned. And back sides are nice and tinned and good. Ready to go. Ready for new parts. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's just more crusty. More crusties. All right, yeah, that'll do. I'll wait for those parts. I'll be back. Should be within the next couple of days, hopefully. Maybe tomorrow even. Who knows? Arcade Parts and Repair is really quick about shipping, so... Monday or Tuesday. Today being uh, Sunday. Today's Sunday, so I'm hoping at least, you know, Monday, Tuesday for those parts, and then this one will be done. 
All right, I got my parts from Arcade Parts and Repair. And if I just go ahead and get them out of there. Brand new. And, and uh, when I reviewed the video, these things on the old ones were actually cracked. So, the, yeah, they were really bad. So we'll just go ahead and put these in the board. In this board here. And get this thing going. And alas, new connectors. Look at these. That's what it's supposed to look like. And this one needs to come in. I just done it. That's it. So let's put this thing together. Put it back hook it back up and see what we get and there it is nice new connectors new nice new standoffs looking good we're all hooked up um, I think the monitor plug is actually over here for some reason yeah we'll just go ahead and plug the monitor in current limit why not what the heck why not monitors up and let's fire it up okay and it's running even under current limit Now, if I had the monitor plugged into the current limiting, it would not be working. This thing is only, is not even pulling an amp. It's working. That's only allowing one amp of current through. So let's just go ahead and I'll bypass this. There it is. Looking good. And for everyone who is interested, I put a new addition. I put a 9-volt regulator on this. 9 volts at 1.5 amps for the customs. And let's take a voltage reading. Let me take a voltage reading really quick. And uh, I don't have the tripod out here, so maybe I can just... Can I do this? I don't know. Yeah, let me uh, let me grab my meter and do a voltage reading and see what's running. Cause I thought that uh, that 7.7 volts was a little low on those customs, so I wanted to go ahead and do a. You know, put a 9 volt in there, get an extra volt of current, of push for the current. And it is now at 8.64 volts. 8.64 volts. And I think that extra volt is perfect. 8.6 is where that should be. So a 9 volt regulator works perfect with it. Because I did notice some weirdness with the video where this would go a different color it just wasn't consistent so i knew that there was an issue with that so putting another regulator in there has made it better so we're running our customs at 8.6 volts and we got good connectors here and yeah that's it so this baby is now complete and looking great Yeah, so that is going to wrap up the Sea Wolf Part 2 video. And uh, yeah, I would suggest do not run your customs at 10 volts. 8.5 volts is about where you want to be. 
So, yeah. Perfect. All right, I'm going to sit here and let this thing run for a couple of hours anyway and kind of shake it down a little bit more. I've already I've already ran this thing about 2 hours. So, another hour and a half to 2 hours and this thing will be good to go and I'll be sending it back. Yeah, but that was a definite problem you saw in the previous video when I showed those. Those were actually cracked and broken. So, yeah, those those definitely needed to be replaced and now they're they're good to go now so yeah very happy about that all right guys it's gonna do it sea wolf 2 early midway bally astrocade type stuff so thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next classic arcade repair bye for now